Hi children, welcome you all back to your online EBS class. I am Asha Santosh, your EBS teacher. Hope you all are fine and safe at home. How was your honor? Hope all of you have celebrated very well and safely. Listen that. You may miss many of your family members during this honor. Still, you should be happy because they are safe in their own places. We can celebrate fantastic honor next time together. So once again, welcome back to your EVS online class. We have discussed so many topics. Do you remember? Yes. We have discussed about the sun, the star, the moon. And next we have discussed about air, water and weather. Then about saving our environment. Then at last we have discussed an activity lesson also. What was our activity lesson? Yes animals and their eating habits very good today we are going to discuss about a new lesson that is not an activity lesson this lesson also you have to study for your exam this is our 10th chapter that is plants and their parts you already know that plants are the main source of our food what is the reason yes Plants can produce their own food by the process of photosynthesis. So, all other animals have to depend plants for their food. Children, we all having different parts. What are the different parts of our body? Yes, head, hands, legs, eyes, ears, nose, etc. Likewise, plants also has different parts. Do you know what are the different parts of a plant? Let's discuss. Children, can you see a plant in my hand? Yes. You are not supposed to pluck any plants. Okay. I want to show all the parts. That's why I pluck one plant. You already know what are the different parts of a plant. Let's memorize. Just start from down. So this, this is the root of a plant. Root you can see under the ground. Isn't it? Yes. From root you can see stem. Then leaves. Then flowers. Fruits. Etc. So these are the basic parts of a plant. All plants having this basic parts. Which are the basic parts of plant? Yes, root, stem, leaves, flowers, fruits, etc. Children, here is an activity in your textbook that you can do yourself. Color the parts of the plant by following the color code given. So children, plant has different parts. Each part has its own functions in our body also. Each body parts has its own functions in our body, isn't it? For example, hands help us to write, eat, then legs help us to walk, run, move, dance, etc. So, each parts, body parts has its own functions in our body. Likewise, each parts of plants also has its own functions. In this class, we are going to discuss about each part and its functions in detail. Today, we will discuss about root. Children, we can see the root under the ground. Isn't it? So, what are the functions of root? Can you guess? Yes, children. Without root, plants cannot stand properly. It will fall down. So, what is the first function of the root? Yes, roots hold the plant firmly to the soil. Roots hold the plant firmly to the soil. Then, what is the next function? It absorbs water and minerals from the soil. 
For what? To prepare food. We need food to live, isn't it? Likewise, plants also need food to live. These are the main two functions of the root. One more function also there. After cooking food, plants will store their extra food. Some they need for their activities and so extra food they will store in different parts. Plants store food in root also. Can you tell some examples? Yes, carrot, beetroot. These all are the plants which store food in their root. Most plants have the same basic parts. Each part has its own work to do. These parts work together to keep the plant alive. First part is root. The part of the plant that grows under the soil is called root. There are two types of roots. They are tap root and fibrous root. So children, if plants did not have roots, they would fall. Roots fix a plant firmly to the soil. Plants need water and minerals from the soil. Roots take these and send them up to the shoot. The roots of some plants such as the carrot, radish and beetroot store food prepared by the plant. Children, when you check the root of different plants, you can see the type of a root is different in different plants. So I have two types of plants in my hand. One is a grass type plant and other type. So when I check the root of the plant, in this plant, see children, in this plant you can see a main thick root and or so many branches on it. So this type of root is known as tap root. In this case you can see number of hair like roots from the end of the stem. This type of root is known as fibrous root. Tap root. Some plants have a thick main root below the stem. It goes deep into the soil. Such a root is called a tap root. Several thinner side roots grow from the main root. Balsam, hibiscus, bean and mustard plants have tap roots. Next is fibrous roots. Grass does not have a main root. It has a number of tiny roots growing from the end of the stem. This looks like a bunch of roots. These are fibrous roots. Rice, wheat and onion also have fibrous roots. Children, today we have discussed about root. Different types of root. Which are the different types of roots? Yes, tap root and fibrous root. Hope all of you have understood very well. Children, read the lesson every day and study the notes from this topic. We will see in our next class. Take care and goodbye.